Hello, Happy New Year. Happy New Year. I was just thinking we should have had like some n noise blowers or whatever those <laughs> things are. <laughs> I'm just thinking, uh, you know, what happened to the backgrounds that we used to always have? We got a wall. <laughs> I kind of miss them. <laughs> it's good being back, but it's also good to be out in the road. I told Josh last night, I'm like, mm -hmm. I just miss going for walks. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like just walking in nature. That's all nice. Yeah. Oh. And mostly it, for us exploring new places. Every time we get to somewhere new, just taking a walk and getting our surroundings figured out. That's right. That's right. But here we're in our bedroom because everybody else is sleeping in the house. So I was like, I think we need to do it in our room. <laughs> <laughs> we can't wake everybody up. Hopefully we'll, I don't know, they'll, they'll stay asleep. Yeah, they need to stay asleep. <laughs> Did the typical New Year's thing, stayed out and, uh, we still, you know, still was after midnight. You guys saw my text, text that we were doing this early. So anyway, hope you guys had a great New Year's Eve and yeah, um, this was a good time of reflecting and just considering this coming year and uh, what, what's to become. So we got to do that with our friends last night. So it was fun with the, the store dolls. So that was good times and yeah, thank you guys. Yeah, it's having us over. So it was good and uh now i'm getting ready to go bicycling already so that's I, why we had to come on early yeah i'm gonna go for a fat tire bike ride they have a new year's day ride it starts at nine o'clock yeah what so. do they call it new year's resolution rumble or something that's, yeah i don't know i can't remember okay. what it's called but anyway so any of my bike friends if you're happen to be on here see you there um <laughs> anyway it's gonna be fun it's supposed to be a little chilly but um that's kind of good it's actually better for the snow. Snow's better. So we're gonna start Luke one today in our soap study. And so, Genesis one. And Genesis one. I haven't read Genesis one yet. I just went to Luke one. I just uh, overslept again. <laughs> Been enjoying this winter sleeping in. He did tell me last night he was gonna get up at six, and I was like, okay, I'm not. But then, uh, no, my alarm went off at seven. I'm like, he's not up. <laughs> and no. then he still wasn't up at seven thirty. Oh. No. Good morning, Bonnie. Thank Good you morning. for your blessings. Good morning, Dawn and Inga and Arlen, Grandma Mary, Grandma T. That's right. Good morning. You guys are all up early. Yeah. So anyway, we'll uh, pray and, and yeah. I got get some some stuff. Sarah's got all kinds of stuff, so that's good. She can cover me again. <laughs> she had some good quiet time already. I did. I said, you know what? Why on earth would I try to cram working out in right now? Let's just spend some time with the Lord. Much better way. Yes, yes. To start the new year. That's right. That's <laughs> right. Well, Father, we thank you. Thank you again for 2021. <laughs> we and, made it. <laughs> uh, we're here. New year, new beginnings. Just exciting time, Lord. It's a fresh start for many of us. So, Father, we just uh, we come before you and we thank you thank you for who you are and the blessings of last year and how many of us have drawn closer to you lord over the past year and uh lord we just ask for even more we ask for more of your just presence in our life and uh, father may we just continue to be may we continue to see you for who you really are and how much you love us and how much you care for us and how much you're continue to guide us to the right path lord Lord, we just ask for fresh revelations of your Holy Spirit just to speak to us this morning. And uh, Lord, may we uh, just continue to walk in your ways. Yeah. And uh, may you continue to just, just continue to love us so that we can continue to love. And I know it's not, your love's always there, Lord. So we just ask <laughs> that we can just receive it and uh, be able to release that over others. Mm. Pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Ooh, good morning, Natalie. Natalie. So fun. All right. Mm. Well, I read Genesis 1, and then I just stuck with the passage of Luke that was in the Life Journal, which was uh, 26 to 38, which is a really short portion, because Luke 1 is really long. Mm -hmm. I forgot that Luke is uh, generous with his words, yes. <laughs> like I am. <laughs> Whereas Mark was very much more concise. Hmm. 
So do you want me just to go yeah, and you, you can, can add on to this? Okay, I was able to tie in a verse from both of them. Not really trying to, but it all came. So Genesis 11, what stuck out to me? So if you are new to this, let's yeah. explain that since yeah. it's January 1st. Um, we do a soap study every morning at 8.30 usually, but today it was a little earlier. And what we do is that we take one section of scripture. So today, the reading in the Life Journal, you can get these at lifejournal.cc. It's called like Life Resources. I was on the website yesterday. And then the front is a reading plan. And we are doing the express reading plan. You could do the classic reading plan if you want to read more. But it's just so you read the whole Bible in a year. Yeah. I just know for me, the express reading plan will get done. The classic reading plan for me probably won't get done. So for January 1st, it's Genesis 1 and Luke 1, 26 to 38. And we take it and you just you read that scripture and then you go, okay, Lord, what are you highlighting to me today in this season of my life? What am I getting clarity on? Write that scripture down. Write your observations of that scripture. It does not have to be like theology based or anything. It's just like, what do I observe from the scripture? And then how does it apply? That's the A. How does it apply to your life? And then pray. And I love how the life journal at the bottom, it says, how will I be different today because of what I just read? Mm -hmm. I really feel like that's kind of the application and the prayer is like, okay, how do I take this piece of scripture, apply it to my life and, and go forth different from how I was yesterday? Mm -hmm. So what this looked like for me this morning was Genesis 11 was my scripture that was highlighted and Luke 1 37. So Genesis 11 says, then God said, let the land sprout with vegetation, every sort of seed bearing plant and trees that grow seed bearing fruit. These seeds will then produce the kinds of plants and trees from which they came. And that is what happened. I just love it. I, I love just taking things for what it is. And that is what happened. <laughs> Let's just accept that. Um, and then Luke 1 37 says, not one promise from God is empty of power for nothing is impossible with God. Mm. So my observations were when that, you know, when you plant a seed in the ground, it bears, it has everything in that seed to bear a tree, a bush, a flower, a vegetable, a fruit, whatever it might be. And, and it was awesome. I just always love how God's creativity that he planted these seeds in the garden of Eden. Like there isn't like this. I mean, now we do like hybrid seeds and stuff like that, but the original mm -hmm. seeds are the original seeds. And that, that has been going for 6,000 plus years from these seeds. So I just love, you know, these organizations like seed savers, like they understand they might not be a Christian organization, but they understand the importance of preserving the seeds. So anyway, that's a side note. Um, what I was realizing is that good seeds have been planted within each one of us, within me, within Josh, within each of you, and they will produce good fruit. That's the way the Lord designed it. Like he placed the seed within you. It contains everything that you need to produce that good fruit. And so then, of course, right away, I was like, oh, what kind of fruit do I want to bear in my life? Well, I want to bear the fruit of the spirit. And so I, I was just realizing how the Lord has already placed these seeds of the fruit of the spirit within us. And those are from Galatians 5, I believe. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, great uh, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Because I feel like a lot of times I'm like, ooh, I don't have very good patience, let's say. Mm. Everybody always says, oh, you're a homeschooling mom. You must have all this patience. No, it's not a prerequisite at all. It's like... You learn patience because you want to love your children, <laughs> but it's something I feel like I am lacking in on a daily basis. So sometimes I think, oh, I just don't have patience or I need to get it and I need to work really hard for it. And when I was reading this this morning, I realized that the Lord has already placed those seeds within me of patience. I just have to cultivate them and mm. let them grow. I have to do some work in order for that to come to fruit, fruition, fruition, yeah, in my life. Um. And I realized, in, you know, in accordance with Luke 1 37, that this is a promise and it is full of power, that nothing is impossible for God. Or like we said, we turned it for the good this last year. All things are possible with All God. Things are possible. Yeah. yeah. Impossible is not a word. Right. <laughs> yep. And so my last observation was that, you know, we have the power and authority. This is what Pastor Jamie is always saying. You have power and authority over what you are willing to take responsibility for. 
And I think sometimes I shy away from, ooh, I don't know if I want that responsibility or I'm not sure if I'm ready to go after that in my life at this point. So a while back, um, Pastor Doyle actually gave an, a sermon on the fruit of the Spirit, but then how he had realized that he wanted more joy in his life. And so what he did was he took joy and studied all, <laughs> Brian, he took all of the scriptures and, about joy in the Bible and he, he memorized them and he meditate, meditated upon them. And Pastor Doyle, if you hear this, if you want to expand on that at all, I would love it. And I could um, figure out what sermon that was, I think, <laughs> in the archives of the house I could post it here. Because I actually want to hear it again. Because I, I've been wanting to do that since that sermon. And I just really haven't. So I was like, well, it's New Year's. This is a great time to do it. So my application is that I want to take the spirit of self-control. I, I feel like since that sermon, I've had a couple months to kind of meditate on what for the spirit I want to really meditate upon. And and fruit and self-control keeps coming to me. And at first I kind of thought, well, yeah, I should do that with my kids. <laughs> Because I want them to have more self-control. It's a little bit manipulating. <laughs> but it's true. I would I, I do think living a life of self-control is beneficial in many areas of your life. Um, but I, I feel like in general I do have I am very disciplined and I do have self-control, but I realized this morning that I I'm missing it in some key areas as far as like choosing my choosing joy. Like I know I have joy, but sometimes I don't choose to let it come out. Um I know that you know, I, I am full of kindness and gentleness, but I don't always let that come out. So, but the fruit that I really want to focus on this year is self-control. Um, and I'm realizing that I need to take action on that. So we were discussing last night with Brian Aurelia that, yep, we can learn all this stuff. Actually, I think Pastor Doyle had said this to Brian after his last sermon about keeping Christmas and this last weekend. Yeah, keeping Christmas, which I love that we're starting in Luke 1. I'm like, hey, yeah, we're going to keep fitting. Christmas in our yeah. hearts, you know. Um, so I realized, you know, last night we were talking that I it's one thing to meditate upon these scriptures of self-control, memorize them. That is taking an action, actually, because once you get that into you, it really will come out of you. Um, but then to really just ask the Holy Spirit, like we keep saying, to prompt me when I'm having a time where I should have more, I could have more self-control. And then going, okay, I have that seed within me. I've been watering it. I've been cultivating it by meditating on these scriptures. Now I'm going to let it come out as good, good fruit. That's right. So, um, I have to be willing to make changes. I keep posting on this that in order to change, because I'm posting on it because it's speaking to me. Um, in order to change, you actually have to change. So. Yes. What do I wear? <laughs> Don't worry about that, buddy. Just stay in your PJs. <laughs> Clothes. <laughs> um, what was I saying? About change. Oh, yes, yes, yes. So if I really you know, want to go after this, I have to be willing to change. First, recognize I have the seed of self-control within me. I can do these things to water and, and cultivate it and bring it up to uh, fruition. But I actually have to be willing to receive it and be willing to go forth with it and realize that I have the power and authority to bring that to life in my life. That's right. Yeah. Believe. Yep. I don't want to stay the, stuck. Um... The scripture that jumped out to me when I, I was just reading Luke and um, it wasn't in the section that Sarah mentioned, uh, but it was right after it and Good. it was at 45. So Luke 1, 45, this is when uh, Elizabeth and Mary have their interaction and um, mm. the just like Sarah said with soap, but just reading through it and all of a sudden a, a verse may jump out at you. And it's New Year's, right? It's a new year. You're, you're having goals. I'm having plans. I'm starting to write those things down. You're motivated. Starting to think through, like, what do I want to change? You know, what went well last year? What are things that I want to adjust? And 45 speaks to me because it says, Blessed is she, and we'll say he, um, she or he, who has believed that what the Lord has said to her or him will be accomplished. This is what Elizabeth said to Mary. This is like, blessed is she who has believed what the Lord has said. To oh, her, it'll be accomplished. I love it. And that's really good. Just to receive that word, right? That blessed is am I if I believe what the Lord has said. 
And if I just can believe it, it will be accomplished. It's so, mm. it, it's walking in that. And, and I want, like, that's kind of my application is that write down, believe, declare what the Lord has said, and, and it will be accomplished. I mean, I just, as I'm reading that, I'm like, wow, that's perfect timing because that is really good. there's a lot of things that we're, we're believing or we believe the Lord has said or thought he said, um, but we're doubting it maybe. Well, I want to encourage us all to, to believe to believe that I heard it from the Lord and you don't have to hurry. If you want to kind of verify it, it's like, read the word <laughs> it's in here. There's so many promises in here about who each one of us is called to be and what we're supposed to walk in. We just have to declare it and believe and then the Lord will accomplish. It'll be accomplished. Mm, so that's good. Um, I just want to receive that. That's my kind of thing that jumped out at me this morning is that this year, let's be a, a, a year of belief. Let's be a yeah. year of believing in the promises that the Lord has spoke over our lives. And, uh, you know, sometimes I, I want to go like it's a year of hope. But I think to have hope, you need to believe. So I want to believe first and believe that it's going to happen and it will be accomplished. That I don't need to just sit there and hope, wish, desire. Yeah. But I need to just believe that the Lord is here and he's with us and his favor is upon each one of us. And uh, he is doing amazing things. We just have to align with it. I like that. So... Anyway, prayer is, Lord, continue to walk with us. Show us, Lord, these uh, these things that you've done so that we can just continue to increase our faith, that we will believe in the the things that you've declared over each one of our lives. Yes. And, uh, Lord, that we just continue to have that faith that you will you will help us accomplish those things, that it, it, it will be, and uh, because you said it was. And so, uh, Father, we thank you for this year. We thank you for the amazing things that are happening today. Mm -hmm. And we help you. thank you for the, ha the amazing things that will happen throughout this year. Yep. Um, Father, just continue to just give us that, that faith that will, we always believe in the things that you've put on our heart and what you've said. Father, I thank you for that. I thank you for your word and this time of your study. I thank you for the fruits of the spirit that you've planted in each one of us, Lord, that it, you, we have them all. Like Sarah says, they're all in there. Mm. Let, let's not have the enemy lie to us and tell us that we don't have one of those. They're all in there. <laughs> yeah. And uh, we just have to declare it and believe. And Lord, that we know that once we do that, it, it, it all kind of goes and happens. So, Father, I thank you. I thank you for each one here. I thank you for what you're doing amongst us. I thank you for this study. And uh, Lord, I just ask for your continued favor and blessing upon us. And uh, may we just continue to shine bright for you and uh, bring others hope and encouragement and faith. And uh, Lord, most of all, may they just interact with you and hear your voice and uh, continue to get in your word mm. and uh, just talk directly to you, Lord. So Father, we, uh, we commit this year to you. We uh, just ask for your continued blessing on it. And uh, may it be our best year yet, Lord. Hmm. May we just draw closer to you and just be in awe of the amazing things that you're doing amongst us. We pray all this in Jesus' name. Hmm. Amen. 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 Yeah. <laughs> happy New Year. Yeah. Happy New Year to each of you that have been sending us greetings. Awesome. Well, Josh is going to go bike riding. Go get his heart pumping so he stays warm. I wonder if bike. I should talk about my, my challenge that I'm going to do. The $20 thing. Oh. Yeah. So uh, last night when we were driving home, I, I had this prompting to, uh, um, you guys have heard of, heard of me uh, um, giving $20 bills every once in a while, $20 bills. And um, I to, thought to just... I would say to random people, to but it's not ran random. It's really like, okay, whoever, Lord, who should I bless with this? Yeah. Whoever the Lord yeah. like places on your heart or just you're walking around and just being intentional about, ah, oh, I want to bless somebody. And it's just been my way that it's, I don't know if it's been something that's helped me walk in a little more courage to go talk to somebody or approach them. And so I just go up and say, hey, I just feel like, um, I just feel like I, I need to give you this $20 bill and bless you today or whatever it ends up being. Or if there's somebody in need and you go up and just pay for their stuff or whatever it is. Um, but I just had the thought today to just get more, more courageous, more miracles, more like interactions. Um, I said to the kids, I go, what would it look like if every day we blessed one person with giving them a $20 bill? 
and yeah. created like a whole library of testimonies and, based on this. And then just testify of, of the interaction of what happened, what the prayer was, what the thing was, and uh, do that for 365 days this year. And, you know, I did the math and it'd be like $6,500, $6,700. Um, oh, okay, you did do it. Would be the how much it costs financially. But I said, if, if somebody told you if you gave $6,700 and you would have 365 testimonies, <laughs> interactions with the Lord and his people, um, would you would you do that? And I'm like, of course I would. And uh, so... Small investment. Small investment. So... Large return. This is accountability is all this really is. And, uh, and if you want to partner with us in this, I'd love it if you did this as well. You don't have to do the $20 bills, but... Just I wanted to encourage others to be bold and courageous and bless other people and just interact with them and share the love of the Lord. Um, it just the twenty dollars is the it, it's kind of my little bridge to start a conversation, and it makes impact. I I think it'll it's every time I've done it it's it's been impactful. So anyway, so I just wanted to uh, share that for accountability. I hope to well I will I will give some great testimonies and we want to do it as a family. So it's not just me. Um, I'm encouraged us to do it as a family. So, um, yeah, I said you just have to have more like coffee dates with the kids and then be intentional with them. Pray ahead of time. Like, Lord, who, who's your treasure? Who do you want us to bless with this? Who do you want, you know, for them to be made seen to let them know that, that the Lord loves them so much. Yeah. Yeah. It could be anybody. <laughs> so I'm looking forward to today being day one of that. Yeah. And, um, I'll keep you posted. Yeah, Lord. I like the accountability, so you guys can hold us accountable for the testimony every day. And um, yeah, we'll start it out. I'll get better at starting it out with the testimony from the last day of uh, prayer or yeah. interaction or whatever the Lord, just how we how we get to experience it. So yeah, I love it. I I we realized this year that if you do something every single day, it becomes a habit. So this is our two hundred and seventieth day of soaping online on Facebook. <laughs> And we haven't missed the day because, um, I don't know if I had talked about this the other day, if I just talked about it with Josh, but there's people in like health groups and, you know, anti-cancer groups like that. And they just say 100% is easy. 99% is hard. So it's really like, I don't know, there was one day where we were, we were late in coming in our soap study because we had something that morning. And, and one of the kids was like, why don't you just skip it? Can't you just skip a day? Mm -hmm. And I'm, and in my mm -hmm. head, I thought, well, yes, we can. I mean, that's totally permissible. It's not like we're doing this because we have to do it every single day. But if we do, then it will be easier the next time when it feels hard just to mm, skip it. And then that right. next time it's like, well, yeah, it was okay that we skipped it those other two times. So let's skip it again. And then it, you fall out of habit of these things. So I'm realizing that with the $20 bill, if you start it every single day, you know, when you get to 270 yeah. days towards the end of the year, it's like, it's habit. It's like, well, I'm just, I go out about my day and I'm looking for that person. I, I have that $20 ready. You're prepared and you're yep. ready to bless. Yep. So that's um really what 2020 has shown us. Like 100%, go for it. <laughs> Do it. That's right. right. <laughs> you guys got this too. Yeah. You guys have been doing it, right? Many of you, this is your habit of joining us. So mm -hmm. it, I think in different books, they say it's like 66 days or something like that. It's our one thing book that we read and to create a new habit. So it's kind of like two months of doing something consistently and you've, you actually have formed a habit. Yeah, it's, it's like second nature. It's like brushing your teeth. Like, yeah. oh yeah, of course I'm gonna brush my teeth before I go to bed. Well, of course I'm gonna read the scripture for right. the day, you right. know, when I wake up in the morning, because that's what I do now. <laughs> so good. Yes, right. and to Natalie's point, it's, it's hard some days, but those are the days that bring the greatest breakthrough. It's that's sort of right. like when it feels like you're pushing against something, that's when the Lord's like, come on, keep going, keep going, keep going. And then, ah, mm -hmm. this great and glorious light. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. All right. Well, we got to get Josh out the door here. Yep. Bless you all. <laughs> well, bless you. And uh, we look forward to seeing you tomorrow for, if you don't have the Life Journal, I know you can pull it up online as well, the reading plan. Um, it's Genesis 3 and then Luke 2, 1 to 21. Yeah. And if it keeps it simpler, just, you could just do Luke, you know, read the whole chapter of Luke 2. Read Luke 2. Uh, cool. All right. We'll uh, see you all tomorrow morning. Yeah. Have a wonderful New Year's Day. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.